So without further ado, my breeding pair of Severums. And what do you guys say? The meat or the potatoes be here eating all of the, some of my ideas. She's super aggressive, volcano. Don't forget about the aquarium. <laughs> Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, first off, welcome. Second off, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. Now, we're in the fish room, aka Tiki Lounge. I'm actually spending a lot of time here in the fish room, and I'm slowly but surely putting things together here. I'm looking to add another aquarium, but I want to ask you guys, my ohana. Um, maybe some ideas on what I can stock this aquarium with, all right? Now, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just a notification bell. It's gonna notify you when I upload a new video. That is it. And the best part about it is it's absolutely free. So without further ado, let me flip this camera around and maybe you guys can give me some ideas on this um, aquarium. All right, here it is. This is a 75 gallon aquarium with a 3D background by Universal Rocks. I absolutely love this. I love it how, how it has the shelves. Um, it kind of protrudes out a little bit more than the uh, flatter surface 3D backgrounds, but I absolutely love it. As far as filtration goes, I have two 110 Seachem titles um, by CJ, one of my favorite hang on the back filters. They are ready to go. The light is a full spectrum Higer light. So we have all that stuff. Don't worry about all those cords. Those are just cords that are from the hang on the back filters. I haven't plugged them in, so I don't have to go looking for them. I just put them on top of the aquarium. But this is the 75 gallon aquarium. Now let me give you guys some of my ideas. And then maybe in the comments, you guys can, uh, yeah, leave me some ideas. So what I visualized was maybe having some archer fish archer fish and maybe some redhead tapaho geo vegas i do have a couple in my six foot aquarium but maybe we get more so i'm thinking on those lines maybe a nice pleco in there too as well a gold nugget pleco or maybe a zebra pleco just something cool and neat i just love all these ledges i'm not sure what kind of substrate to do i might do sand because if we do geo vegas they love to sift through sand so i'm thinking if we do some geo vegas fish uh, we're definitely going to throw some sand um, as far as substrate goes at the bottom. But give me some ideas, Ohana. Tell me what you think. I think archer fish would be really cool. First, it's a fish that I've always wanted to keep. And then we can actually maybe kind of drain the tank three-quarter way, throw some crickets in there and watch the archer fish spit them down like off the ledges in the back or maybe we throw a branch across the aquarium. I've always thought of doing something like that, you know? So tell me what you guys think in the comments. Give me some ideas for this 75-gallon aquarium. All right, so I wanted to do a quick little update on my breeding pair of Severums. We have my turquoise Severum right here, Vanilla Ice, and then we have his beautiful, beautiful wife, Madonna, which is my gold Severum. Uh, they've been doing really good. And what I've done recently um, was set the full spectrum Higer aquarium light on its internal um, timer that it has to mimic like a natural day to get these guys into spawning mode. So that's what I've been doing. I've also been giving them a really, really good diet of food. Here's some pellets that they absolutely love. You can see them get really not aggressive severums aren't really aggressive um they're very very tame for a cichlid but they love their pellets they're eating good uh getting fed i'm feeding them actually every day just to get these guys into hopefully my fingers are crossed spawning mode but you can see vanilla ice here mr robert van winkle look at this turquoise severum pretty pretty pattern look at that beautiful turquoise face that orange eye it's got like an orange like underbelly but it's mainly the fins the anal fin uh just a beautiful beautiful severum uh that i've had for a long time ever since he was little and then of course my gold severum i had for a long time i realized by accident they were a breeding pair um the yellow severum being the female i had a bunch of eggs and a rock in one of the aquariums and now i'm trying to get them to breed and have babies in this aquarium with this rock here uh, which was one of the rocks that she laid eggs on in a previous aquarium. So that's why I added that rock in this aquarium. But I wanted to do a quick little update on Madonna, 
And uh, Vanilla Ice. Robert Van Winkle is his name. <laughs> Next up, I want to talk about my beautiful flower horns here. This is Reggie, my beautiful flower horn. And then we have Moana. This is a female fader flower horn. Now, I know I hear it all the times in the comments. Oh, no, that's not a female. You don't know what you're talking about. That's a male. Uh, uh, females don't have big cocks. Hold up. <laughs> that's K-O-K, -okay, by the way, all right? The cock is that big hump on her head. She's super aggressive. She loves to nibble on my finger. Um, but anyways, this is a female. She actually, I don't know, had one, two, I want to say, I think it was three times where she laid eggs. So what I've done was put them in this 75 gallon aquarium with this divider and I'm hoping to maybe simulate some type of love connection here between my boy Reggie and Moana. As you can see, I have a plate down here in the background. Hopefully she'll lay eggs because this is the exact same plate where she laid eggs on one of her spawns. So I do see all of this sand being cleared out, which is a sign she may be getting ready. You can see the sand's all pushed over here to the left side of the aquarium. And then of course, as I back out over here, he has been cleaning out the sand on this side of the aquarium, pushing all the sand this way. So if you take a step back and you kind of divide this aquarium, they're kind of cleaning. It's kind of weird and it's kind of cool at the same time. I want to say almost kind of cute. You know, you, they're cleaning both sides of the aquarium, pushing the sand on both sides. Kind of fascinating, right? I've been feeding them high protein. And the reason why I've been feeding these guys a lot of high protein lately is because I want to enter them. I'm going to give him a little piece of shrimp. Look at him. Watch him. Watch him. Oh, he loves his shrimp. Raw shrimp. This is actually raw shrimp from when I made sushi for my monster fish. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card right up above there in the right hand corner. Click that card. All right. Go check out that video. I made my monster fish sushi rolls. It was a little bit too big for these guys here. Um, but I have leftover shrimp that I've been feeding them high protein because I want to enter these two, well, I've already entered her, but I want to enter them in a flower horn competition that 916 Aquatics, Miss Julie Tran, has every year. As you see, she loves her shrimp too. And I think they should have a category for female flower horns, right, Ohana? Come on, man. Have a category for males, which males are usually the prettier one and they have the big nuchal hump. But make an exception for the females. But look at her. She's got a big, big nuchal hump or cock, however you want to call it. Look at his, look at his cock. Her cock is bigger than his cock. Sensational. Does that make sense? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But let me give them a couple more pieces of shrimp. Uh, April 1st, I believe, Miss Julie Tran is going to be having her flower horn competition. And I definitely want to enter Reggie in the competition. What do you guys say? I think he's got a good shot. Look how beautiful he is. We're going to give um, our baby Moana another piece of shrimp. Go get it, girl. Uh-huh. They love their shrimp. So I'm feeding them 9.9 .9, uh, flower horn food. And as a little treaty treat, I'm giving them raw pieces of shrimp. All right, now we're going to get into like, I don't know, the meat and potatoes, I guess you can say. I don't know if this is the meat or the potatoes part of this video, but behind me is this beautiful aquascape. I created an underwater volcano. As you can see, the lava. Uh, this is all dry stacked. Um, lava rock black lava rock is what i used now if you want to see how i created this thing i'll leave a card up above click that card and it'll show you the escape on how i created this thing it took a little bit of time and patience but this thing came out like more i don't know better than i could ever imagine as you can see the bubbles we got the led lights in there it looks like a volcano erupting and then i'm like super obsessed with it even more when i added all the fish and a certain somebody in here which is really cool so i had to make a video of feeding this aquarium because we have mr lobster i have a freshwater lobster in here that will come out and feast he usually hides in the volcano which i kind of planned that crabs lobsters that like structures and tunnels and caves especially lobsters and he hides inside uh the volcano when i add food he smells it and he comes out and he eats so let me flip this camera around and let's check out the feast Okay, here it is. Look at my beautiful volcano. I absolutely love it. Look at the balloon, red jewel cichlids. Uh, then you got the standard jewel cichlids. They didn't color up as much as I want them to. Here, it's another standard red jewel cichlid. And then we also have, look at my red terror. 
out, socializing, kind of friendly with everybody. And then we have my beautiful red Turkana Jewel Cichlids. Look at them, huh? So that's pretty much the stock. Well, not really. We do have the fire barbs that are swimming around in here. I don't know. They're getting kind of picked on. I was hoping that they wouldn't, but I mean, you know, I see little nips of their tail, but they're so pretty. Um, I don't know. We'll see how long they last. So far, so good. I got my fingers crossed, but let's go ahead and feed these guys some food. All right. I have a combination of floating and sinking pellets. Mr. Lobster is somewhere down in there. So once I add the food and he smells it, and I'm sure everybody is going to, here we go. We got to add some food like that. There you go. I'm sure he's going to smell. You can see the sinking pellets, small pellets, uh, medium sized pellets, floating pellets too as well. And then I have some algae wafers that are, are that are sinking too as well. So get a nice little dose of some food in here and we will wait patiently and you'll see Mr. Lobster come out and uh, partake in this feast. You can see that Turkana Jewel Cichlid messing around with that floating pellet there. You got Mr. Balloon. <laughs> Red Jewel Cichlid over here, eating all of the pellets that are on the ground there, including, look at that big old like algae wafer he has in his mouth. Yeah, you're super cool, man, super cool. You got the other Turkana Jewel Cichlid, getting some more of that food that just sunk to the bottom there. And then you got this Balloon Jewel Cichlid that's just probably full. Look at him, he's like, uh, uh. So he's in a food coma right now, over here in the corner. But let me show you one of the Red Jewel Cichlids, just colored up. As soon as I added food, look it. You see that red? You, you noticed it? I don't know if you guys noticed the change, what it looked like before I added the food. As soon as I added food, this red jewel cichlid just colored up. A nice little shot of him and his buddy. So you can see the difference on how this one has colored up versus this one. Very plain. Uh, this might be a dominant male. Look at that. So pretty, right? When those colors come out on the jewel cichlid, the red jewel cichlid, whoo. Wee. I see the lobster. The lobster is going to be coming out. I can see it right in one of the cracks of the volcano. Come on, lobster. Come on, baby. You see him? Or you see her? I don't even know if it knows how to get out. It has to know how to get out of there. Come on. It must smell the food. It's got to smell the food. I think he's going to come out right along the backside of the volcano. Come on. I know you're over here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at, look at, look at. You see his pinchers? Hey, the god. Here comes <laughs> Mr. Lobster, the god. I think he wants some food. Let's, let's sprinkle some more food in there since he's right here crawling down. See if we can get some food to fall down by him. There we go. Oh, look at that. Just a rain of food for our boy, Mr. Lobster. Look at him. Come on, get some food, baby. <laughs> By the way, I have been seeing him picking up food and whatnot. There you go. He just shoved a little pellet in his mouth. Bunch of food down there. As you can see, uh, no one messes with Mr. Lobster. He kind of does his thing. When he wants food, he gets down there and he just grubs with the rest of them, though. Look how pretty, though. Doesn't this look pretty? Look at all the red jewel cichlids. And then you got that beautiful red lobster. Uh, but he's doing good. Look at his colors. It's so vibrant up against the black lava rock. Uh, volcano structure. You got the red LED light in there, the bubbler. Look at him. Pretty cool, right? Ah, I'm so glad he came out. He smelled the food. And that's what happens normally when I dump food in there. He smells the food. He comes out wherever he's hiding, either in the volcano or sometimes he hides in the corner. Uh, right over there in that corner there with the bushes. And uh, yeah. But anyways, he's out here still eating. Came back down here for seconds. Look at him. So cool. I've never had a freshwater lobster. Just so you know, he's not gonna get bigger than this. Freshwater lobsters don't get like saltwater lobsters. They pretty much stay about that size there. Gave you guys some updates on some of the fish. Don't forget about the aquarium too, the 75 gallon tank. Give me some ideas in the comments, all right, my Ohana? And I'll give you guys a shout out if I choose one of them. I gave you guys uh, what I'm thinking and planning on doing with the archer fish and maybe the Geo Vegas. Uh, we have Moana and Reggie, the flower horns, and I want to enter them in the flower horn competition April 1st. And then we did an update on the volcano aquarium behind me here and our red lobster, the volcano god. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day. Take care, and I will 
talk to you guys soon and see you in that next video. Much love and aloha.